Good morning, you two beloved, precious brothers and sisters on this beautiful Thursday, May the 19th, 2016. As we begin this video, let's join together this morning in prayer. Let's give God all honor, praise, and glory. Let's go before the Most High living God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Father God, we just love you so much, Father. We just love you so much. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that each and every person viewing this video, that they experience you, Father God, and your amazing love. I pray that they just catch on fire with the Holy Spirit. I pray that their very soul catch on fire with the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray that you will answer their prayers and meet their needs today. This I pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And amen. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to have uh, a sip of my coffee. I want you to let me know what you're going to share with a Pastor Dave and what are you having for breakfast. It's a very important video and I'm going to try not to take too much of your time this morning. I'm going to have a, a sip of my coffee. Let me know what you're going to share with PD. All right, breaking news on the news when I woke up this morning, this terrible, terrible tragedy, this Airbus, this uh, uh, airliner from Paris, we know about the terrorist attacks in Paris and in Belgium, from Paris to Egypt just disappeared 66 lives on board in our prayers today go out to the family of all that were on that airliner and uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, was this an act of terror? Was this ISIS or was it, uh, they're not gonna know I don't think until they get the black box back and uh, I'll try to keep you all posted on that. It's a very busy day for Pastor Day today. Well kind of, I really, we're gonna do what we can to help our ministry today. Uh, in my neighborhood, our community here, they're having a community yard sale. I've got a few things I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm not a hoarder, as some people like to hoard on to a lot of things. I don't, I've got a few things that I think I can maybe uh, uh, sell in this yard sale to help raise some much needed uh, funds for our ministry and outreach to the homeless. With that said, this is gonna be my very last video on PayPal and the ProPay. Our PayPal account will, uh, uh, be back up and running. What PayPal is doing is they're punishing uh, our ministry for helping the poor and helping the homeless. Same as what's been going on with uh, uh, Matthew Patrick Winfrey, Brother Patrick, uh, is his YouTube channel, uh, and he has uh, the, or uh, the orphanage in the Philippines. And they're, they're punishing. They like to use power and to punish uh, uh, Christian-based uh, ministries like ours. Um, they are not Christian friendly, as a lot of people don't seem to understand. Uh, they are uh, pro-abortion, uh, uh, they are pro-same-sex uh, marriage, they are pro-transgender, uh, this whole transgender issue. We are just kind of sitting there, they're punishing us. Uh, they can't dispute. We've sent in everything to PayPal and they can't dispute uh, uh, what we have sent in. So as a punishment, they're just going to let us sit around for a while. Uh, but it will be reinstated fully, and I'll let you all know. And again, this is going to be the last time I'm going to talk about ProPay and, and, and an alternative to PayPal. Uh, and, and after this video, I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go. And the Holy Spirit's going to have to move onto your heart uh, if this is the ministry to support. But with that said, let me share with you just some things, uh, looking at both issues of ProPay and the PayPal. A lot of people don't want to use this new ProPay that I have used, and I do want to state that it is Christian friendly. Uh, they are tied in with the Salvation Army, and they are 
um, totally against this whole transgender bathroom issue. They are against abortion. And they have strong Christian uh, values and morals. But people don't want to use it because they think it's not safe. You've got to type in all of your uh, personal banking information. And uh, I'm going to explain that in the, the video that's coming, right? It's going to be tied in with this video. Uh, that's why so many people are used to PayPal because uh, they have all of your information already stored. But it's in a database out in Cyberland. Let me explain if you have a PayPal account and you got a PayPal card, this is ours, and of course they've got uh, uh, what offerings had come in. It's frozen in here. We can't gain access to it, so do not send anything to our ministry through PayPal. It will be unfrozen, probably, who knows how long they're going to punish us. Not too much longer, I'm sure. But when you sign in to PayPal, if you have a PayPal account, you had to give them all of your personal banking information just like ProPay but what PayPal does they store it in a database what ProPay on the other hand does they take your banking information and they put it in what's called the vault it's a cyber vault which is virtually hack proof that's a lot lot safer this is going to be the final video I'm not going to mention PayPal ProPay I'll let you know when the PayPal account uh, uh, is uh, reinstated and who, who knows how long they're going to try to punish us but again this is going to be the final my final word on uh, if you want to help the ministry we need your help if not uh, I love you anyway but uh, I want to share this uh, bit of information with all of you I just want to run through this very quickly for all of you and then I am going to just totally drop the whole topic of PayPal and ProPay and you're going to have to have the Holy Spirit uh, convict your heart of the right thing to do. People don't like change. PayPal has been around a long time and people just do not like change today. But is PayPal for the Christian believers? Is PayPal Christian friendly and uh, do they represent good Christian morals and values? Let me remind everybody, PayPal punishes. There's that word punish. Punishes North Carolina for a transgender bathroom law. They were going to go in and expand into North Carolina. The governor of North Carolina said, uh, oh, wait a minute. He's more concerned about the, the women, the young girls, the children, just because someone believes that they, at today, feel like they're a female, but they were born a male, that they can go in and use the same bathroom as the women or go into a school locker room or shower and being a male but feel that for that moment in time they're a female that it's okay that they can go in and take a shower with your daughter PayPal pulls out because they are pro transgender bathroom they are pro abortion I just want to share this with you let me move on and here's an article that came out last month. Busted PayPal's glaring bathroom hypocrisy exposed. And I just want to share this with all of you. North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest issued a statement today in regards to PayPal's decision to cease expansion in the state over the bill. If our action is keeping men out of women's bathrooms and showers protected the life of just one child or one woman from being molested or assaulted, then it was worth it busted paypal's glaring bathroom hypocrisy exposed and here's an article that came out last month a few weeks ago it's uh, faith under fire world net daily franklin graham paypal hypocrite of the year i just want to share this with all of you it's from a christian uh, website i'm helping a local catholic organization edit their website they would like to have the ability to receive donations on their website but do not want to use paypal it is a matter of principle because paypal supports things that conflict with the church such as planned parenthood does anyone know of any good alternatives to paypal and that alternative is a christian friendly uh, they are tied in with the Salvation Army. They are four small Christian ministries. And that company 
but uh, is anti-abortion, anti-transgender bathroom is propane. I want to touch on this topic very quickly because I'm getting a lot of uh, uh, emails and personal messages that uh, people are more used to PayPal and that they believe that uh, their information is by far more secure. Uh, and ProPay asks for your personal uh, banking information. If you have a PayPal account, if you shop online or on eBay, when you initially signed up for PayPal to get your PayPal account, you had to put in all of your personal banking information and uh, they just store your information. On the other hand, ProPay, when you uh, sign into ProPay to give your banking information, it goes into what's called a vault. It's just not sitting there to where a hacker uh, can uh, hack into uh, PayPal and gather all of your private information. ProPay is so secure that they have all of your information stored, not in a database, it's stored in what they call a cyber vault where hackers cannot gain access. Your ProPay, I'm sorry, your PayPal, I'm so uh, for ProPay because it's more Christian friendly and it's a lot safer and secure. Here's an article that came out uh, this year. Your PayPal account can be hacked more quickly than you think. Think uh, you've uh, secured your PayPal account so that hackers uh, can't hijack it and steal money from your bank account? Well, guess again, as there are ways of getting into your account and PayPal doesn't appear to have the means or policies to stop them. But ProPay does. ProPay is very secure. Again, like PayPal, your personal information is stored in a database. ProPay, it is in a cyber vault and it's virtually hacker proof. And let me share this with you quickly. An, alter an alternative to PayPal, yes, there is one. An organization that analyzes businesses and their political support is recommending an alternative to uh, payment service PayPal. Second Vote says it researched the company ProPay after PayPal announced it was halting plans for a 400 employee facility in Charlotte, North Carolina. The announcement is meant to punish North Carolina officials for taking action against a transgender ordinance. Second vote spokesman of Robert uh, Cookdell says PayPal has a record of liberal advocacy and is expanding its business to into communist countries such as Cuba, which has a poor human rights uh, record. Second vote analyzed ProPay on issues that included abortion, traditional marriage, and Second Amendment rights. The company scored at 3.6, which second vote uh, considers leans conservative. ProPay is affiliated with the Salvation Army, which has taken conservative stands on issues. Second vote also learned. So they are recommending as an alternative to PayPal, a Christian-based uh, company, ProPay, it's out of Utah. And quickly in closing, now I am done. I'm not, no more mention of PayPal. I'll let you know when, and it will be, when it's uh, reinstated. I'm not going to be discouraged uh, over this. I have now, we have nothing has come in that normally comes in through PayPal. No one has even attempted. They're afraid for whatever reason of ProPay. Uh, and I've got family. I've got family telling me to just maybe just let it go. This ministry has been really uh, emotionally wearing you down. It's very difficult to see so many people hurting and suffering and the phone ringing. You can't uh, go out and meet their needs. Just go get on disability. No, I am not going to do that. I'm going to fight this good fight. I'll do it by myself if I have to. I will not go get on disability and let this ministry go because this is the ministry that God has ordained and has called me to the streets to help those in need. He took me to that place, to where I was in that position, in that battle, in that struggle, not knowing where we were going to sleep that night, no food to eat, so I could be prepared 
to do this work for the kingdom and it will continue. Again, no offerings whatsoever through ProPay have come in and it hasn't since the whole uh, PayPal dispute. Just one offering from a precious brother Mark and his wife of $25, nothing else has he come in. Like PayPal, we've got our ProPay uh, card now, but there's nothing to use. Uh, I do want to thank uh, uh, a precious sister who wants to remain anonymous. Yesterday she didn't use, uh, She I talked to her, she was afraid of ProPay. And I explained all that, how far more secure it is than uh, PayPal, that your personal information is locked in a vault and it's virtually a, a hacker proof, unlike uh, PayPal. But uh, she gave a $20 offering to our GoFundMe campaign. No other offerings have come in. I love you all and now I'm finished. Now I'm finished. It's in God's hands. And I love you very much. God bless you.